When they made me put this on, I was tucking everything in. <laughs> Every, I mean everything, thinking, this is gonna, something's going to get me. And it's that. <laughs> I've been on the Des O'Connor show, I don't even need this. Make the best uniform for this bee. You must wear your beekeeping outfit throughout the task. You have five minutes to order five items. Then 15 minutes to make the uniform. Your time starts now. A pea, a frozen pea, a Stanley knife and some Tipex. I'll see you later on. Bye, honey. <laughs> right, there you go. I better jazz up the collar a bit. <laughs> right, you know what this is, don't you? It's your classic turn your frozen pea to a bee helmet situation. We've all been there. Gosh, if ever I needed a pair of glasses, it was now. This is what they should do. Get rid of this traditional eye test. It'd make you look forward to going to the optician, wouldn't it? <laughs> Alex, could you go online and find out what the world record is for jumping double-decker buses? Yep. A man jumped over 18 on the 29th of August, 1983. Well... This is a British record. You did it in Wales. And that, my friend, is Beevil Knievel, made from split pea, about to jump almost the world record, the world record for a bee. <laughs> Can I go for it? Good luck, Beevil. Bike. Come on. Ready? Oh, that was a bad one. Forget it. <laughs> Three stunts from Lee Mack as well. Yeah. Beevil Knievel. Yeah, here is Beevil. You can see yeah. the word Beevil on his collar. What interested me is when the challenge was set, immediately you went, Get me a frozen pea. Immediately. And you knew it was for the helmet for Beaver Knievel? E immediately, because I knew that I only had a small window. You have to defrost that frozen pea perfectly. Too hard, you'll never cut through it. Too soft, and it won't be able to protect a skull. I think Beaver Knievel, on this occasion, just takes it. But four points to Charlotte, yeah. five points to Lee. Well, I'm happy with that. Thank you. Catch the rat. Oh, no! <laughs> Most ingenious catching of the rat wins. You must be at least three metres from the rat when you catch it. The rat will run over the red green in 30 minutes from now. Ah. I've already got an idea. Give me a hand. Please. Please give me a hand. Do you remember the game Mousetrap? Yes. Carry on. Could you help me turn the bath over, please? Put it to the bath, please, Alex. <sighs> Tennis ball. Cheese. Right, ready. Come on, cheese. Nice cheese. Cheese balls. Cheese balls. Cheese balls. <laughs> Eat the cheese. Eat the cheese. Eat the cheese. Eat the cheese. With the bat. And that's that. Wow. It's trapped the rat in. In the most practical and ingenious fashion. Ingenious fashion. Oh. Uh, I don't know how ingenious it was. It was effective, though. But I did have a big advantage in that I also have had an infestation of rats at my house. And that is exactly how we caught them. <laughs> <laughs> really nice. I mean, it did work first time. He set it up, there was no tinkering with the plan. There was none. It came out fully formed. And it was a lovely stroke. I don't know if you're a cricketer, but it was lovely. Thank well. you. No, I followed through. That's the secret. Follow through. Hello, Jamali. How are you doing? Scientifically work out how much Alex's feet and head weigh. You may not use the internet. Most accurate answer wins. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. 
what, what, what a strange thing to say, you may not use the internet. There's a lot of stuff about how much my head weighs on the internet. But not your feet? <laughs> not yet. If I weigh your head... Mm-hmm. It says error. I think your head might be too heavy for these scales. Thank you. <laughs> Got a plan. I happen to know that water weighs the same as the body. This water weighs 5.2 kilograms. Thank you. Point two. OK? I want you to stick your left foot in there. That's it. That's it. That's not displacing them. Get it out. Oh, you get out of there like that. Now. Out it comes. I'm going to put that back on there. That weighs 5.5. The difference between 6.3 and 5.5 is 0.8. Now your head. And I'm going to fill that up to the brim using your foot water. 9.8 kilograms. I'm not very gentle. What? Nothing. So what am I doing? You're going to put your head in yeah. under the water, but you have to go right over, otherwise it won't go in. Yes. Yeah. Go. Is it warm? Well. Go right in, hold your breath, go. Come on, man up. Go, go, head up, hold your breath, go. Right, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. Out! Weigh that water. That's 5.6 kilograms. 5.6. The amount of water that was displaced was 4.2. So, Alex, your head is 4.2 kilograms. Your feet are both 0.8 kilograms. Thanks very much. It's been great working with you. I'll see you next year. Bye, Lee. The trick was using the right equipment, which Lee did. The bathtub was too vague, but it was sloshing all over the place. So my head's four and a half kilograms, and my feet are a kilogram each. Lee said 4.2 kilograms and 0.8 kilograms each. He was very close to the right Pretty answer. Pretty good. Deliver all the plates to Alex. When carrying the plates, you must travel by scooter. Or bicycle or hoverboard. For every plate fallen or broken, you will have 20 minutes added to your time. <laughs> Fastest wins. You may start moving plates in three minutes from now. Yeah, you've got three minutes to test out your equipment if you want to. Yeah, yeah. Finally, the costume has come in handy. You can start collecting plates. Thank you for the plates. Thank you for the plates. All safely delivered. Would I get a bonus point if I managed to juggle three? I'm going to say yes. <laughs> that didn't happen. Thank you, Lee. We're going to take those minutes off, though, cos he's... No, no, let's get something straight here. You said bring them to the table. I brought them to the table. End of task. Oh, they've fallen out of the thing. And what happens if we say those two plates count? Then he'll come second last with a time of 41 minutes 20. <laughs> well, I think this has got to be properly debated amongst the group. I agree with you guys. I think Lee's wrong and I think he smashed a plate before the time ended. <laughs> That's what I think. I think he's second last material, yeah. mate. It's whether Lee comes first or fourth. Listen, I don't think in Taskmaster history I've ever put a decision on to you, but I'm going to. Well, if rules are rules, then I think Lee has to win because he delivered 18 unbroken plates in 1 minute 20. There you go. It's done.